Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fasale, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session. You've got Wednesday, the 25th of April 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the, um, the app from www.tradesignal.com or download it from Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, US markets certainly flushed yesterday, Asian markets flushed as well, concerns over the yield curve and also situation regarding Iran. So those two factors certainly hurting as well. You can see on the um, US 10-year, uh, let's just bring up this uh, chart here on the weekly chart, we are now coming into, into support. US 10-year bond certainly selling off uh, and again, obviously triggering the yield to move higher. Certainly broken the previous rear support zone, okay, so breaking lower here. Dollar certainly surging on the back of that as well. Although from my perspective, it certainly seems to be overdone now. Uh, a lot of the bearish news certainly, or bearish dollar news certainly is baked into the cake, okay, going forward. In terms of uh, economic data out for the US, we've had uh, job uh, mortgage applications coming in weaker than expected. So again, that should certainly force the, uh, the dollar lower as well. So the dollar start to push the dollar lower, which in turn obviously um, it's going to force yields lower as well. And then obviously we'll get a potential push in the US 10-year bond market as well. In terms of the dollar index, let's just have a look here. It's certainly uh, peaking here from my perspective. Uh, let's just bring the dollar chart for you. There we go. Okay, so dollar chart on the four hours, certainly pushing higher daily chart as we know, into pacing into that 200 MA. So certainly into previous support equals resistance as well. Certainly a lot of the resistance zones from my perspective. So again, doji candle yesterday, certainly pushing higher at the moment. Again, from my perspective, certainly looking for the dollar chart certainly to reverse very, very shortly. Four hour chart as well. We are pushing higher, making a new high. So just respect that for now. But the 60 minute chart clearly is showing a potential double top. So watch out for that zone as well. OK, in terms of uh, the European markets then this morning, again, obviously risk off tone in terms of uh, US markets certainly flushing overnight. OK, so let's see exactly where we stand. Now we close that gap below at 12.390. We push lower. Uh, one would expect support down at 12.260. So let's see if that can hold in the moment on a 60 minute chart. We certainly are into no man land. Uh, daily chart certainly has obviously about sold off quite sharply there. OK, uh, in terms of the 10 minute chart, let's just see exactly where we stand. 10 minute chart certainly over, uh, overextended from my perspective. Now uh, you're looking at previous uh, resistance equals support in this zone. OK, you've got gap fill above. So uh, oversold on the European indices. So watch out there. OK, uh, technically perfect this morning so far yeah, in terms of the, uh, the, the actual sell offs as well. Let's just keep an eye on those. OK, so. So looking overextended from my perspective, looking for a potential bounce. OK, in terms of the 60 minute chart, again, you've got a 200 MA below at 12.260. So certainly some support will be seen below there. OK, at the moment, again, no man's land. In terms of the FTSE and the French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC. Certainly selling off quite sharply here. The French CAC certainly under pressure. You are quite looking at support in this zone here at 5.390. If that cracks, then you're looking at support at 5.380. So watch out for support below. 60 minute chart on the euro stock certainly flushing next support is seen at 3680 that's for exactly where we bounced this morning so 10 minute chart certainly bouncing from the open pushing the higher on the french cat going up to gap fill or approaching gap fill and then obviously flushing on the actual uh, index as well so again looking for risk aversion there we are now coming into support in terms of the FTSE 100 let's have a look at the FTSE i was expecting a bounce at this zone here around the 7370 we failed Looks like we're flushing lower, uh, testing that potential uh, pivot S3 support. Let's see if that can hold. We did bounce up to 73.84, and now we're obviously pushing back lower back down, down, back down to 73.60. So if that support at 73.60 cracks, then you are looking at 73.50, and then potentially even lower at 73.40. So let's keep an eye on that as well. Okay, so that's basically where we stand from that perspective, folks. Okay, in terms of the uh, euro stocks, last but not least, again that daily chart gap fill, doji candles obviously selling off quite sharply. On the daily chart, 60 minute chart as well, under pressure on the HS formation. Looking at previous resistance equals support now around the 3465. If you continue to flush, then you're looking at 3440 gap flow below. Okay, so that certainly is a summation of European indices. Again, it certainly seems like US equities are certainly leading the route. And will that continue, especially with the SP 500 now into key support? You can see gap fill here at 2613 and obviously gap fill below at 2604. Uh, daily chart as well into gap fill support uh, there's a zone here we put in a bottoming tail yesterday will that be sufficient enough for the index to bounce okay also bear in mind as well taking the pivot low taking it to pivot high one would expect the fib 61 percent to hold 
If not, then obviously 75% is seen at 225, 94, 95. Let's see how the market reacts there. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.